Are you an out school teacher wondering how you can show your students up close things without having to bring your work all the way to your laptop's camera lens? Do you want to offer cooking, craft, art, or any other classes that require instructions? Do you think you cannot afford a document camera? You might think that you need a document camera, but what if I told you if you had a smartphone and about $30 to spend on Amazon, you can get the job done for less? In this video, I will not only show you the tools that you will need to set up your own document camera for your art school classes, but also take you over to the Zoom platform to show you how to add your document camera into the Zoom classroom, as well as troubleshoot some maybe feedback sounds that you might get, get as well as spotlighting your video in order to make sure that your students see the instructions that they need to see and to make your class the best class ever on OutSchool. Hello, my name is Serena from SincerelySerena.com and on this channel you will not only find helpful information for the online teacher, but tips and tricks and inspiration for you to be the best human that you can be. Okay friends, let's talk about document cameras. Have you ever researched the cost of document cameras? I researched, I researched them lately on Amazon because I wanted to teach cooking and craft classes on OutSchool and I found out that document cameras are expensive. Oh my goodness. They can start from $70 and can go up to $500. Oh my goodness. I, but I found a way that you can turn your smartphone and $30 <laughs> and $30 and create a really cool and effective document camera for less. So what do you need? Of course, you need a smartphone that you'll be able to get on Zoom with. So download the Zoom app on your smartphone. You will also need to go over to Amazon and grab a gooseneck, a gooseneck clamp similar to this. This bottom clips onto your hard surface like your table or your desk. And then you clip your phone. Look at this, guys. Bum, 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 bum. You clip your phone right here. And then now you have a document camera and for only $30. I like this um, over some other models that are on Amazon because um, of the sturdiness. This bottom right here is adjustable um, as well as I like that this is like a alligator or a gator clip right here um, and it securely holds my phone um, and, I can, and it's adjustable. I can move this up or down depending on how, um, what angle, depending on what angle I want. Um, as well as this, this is really adjustable and once you turn it, it's not going anywhere, it's like there. I have not only clipped this onto my desk, but I've clipped this onto my countertops for my cookie class that I, I do on at school and I've also clipped it onto my cabinets. Um, so yeah, it's a great hand-free, hands-free device that not only you can use it for a document camera, but other things as well. I will tell you, I did buy something from Amazon similar to this to try to help me. This guy from Amazon is, it broke. <laughs> so not everything on Amazon is awesome. This is hard plastic right here and um, I originally bought it to, to hold my iPad on because I wanted to teach for my iPad. But this, the iPad was too heavy for it. I mean, it still works, but if I put any pressure on it, it's gonna fall apart. So this guy, garbage. This guy is awesome. The only downside to this is that I cannot use it for my iPad, but that's really okay. Um, I teach from my MacBook Pro anyways, and I have a handy dandy smartphone. I will link this bad boy down in the, in the description box. Um, it is an affiliate link, so if you use that link to buy it, um, I will just get a small little reward from Amazon thanking me for referring my friends over to Amazon because you know you're gonna go shopping on Amazon for it anyways. Right? Who else is addicted to Amazon? This teacher right here. Okay guys, so enough about the accessory. Let's go over to my laptop, to my Zoom classroom, and I will show you how to add a second camera into Zoom, as well as trouble, troubleshoot some things like bad feedback sounds, as well as spotlighting your second camera so your students will see what you are doing. All right guys, let's go. So you're going to start your meeting. I'm going to make this bigger. And you're going to open up your participants. I'm going to make sure that chime is on. 
for out school, you don't have to have that chime on. I just do it because this is my personal Zoom account. Um, so then you are going to go to meeting and you're going to go to invite and you're going to copy the invitation or copy the invite link and send it to yourself somehow. So you can email it to yourself. I have um, a MacBook Pro and an iPhone, so I'm able to do that. And as soon as you get on with your phone, you're, want, you're gonna want to make sure that it is in mute. So I'm gonna admit my phone in. Whenever it registers, you're going to mute it. Um, while I'm waiting for it to come up, All right, so mute it there, and then on your phone, turn off your volume and turn your volume all the way down is what you'll want to do. Okay, so I'm going actually going to I'm going to rename this as my phone, um, so I know what it is. Boop. Waiting for my daughter to sign in. There she is. Okay, so I'm going to admit her. All right, so you can hear me, right, Catalina? Okay, so if you're in speaker view, then when you talk, your picture will pop up. And then when a student talks, their picture will pop up. So go ahead and talk, Catalina. <laughs> okay, so now if you want to have your phone, if you want your phone to show, you want to go to these little three buttons right here and press spotlight video. So if you do that, then it will keep your video spotlighted. And right now you can see my lovely chandelier. Um, so it'll keep your, your video spotlighted while you talk. So it doesn't matter if I talk, um, it'll pop up. Now, Catalina, can you talk? Okay, so even if a student talks, um, that picture will not change. So now for some reason, if your Zoom is not updated, you may not see this um, spotlight video. So I'm gonna cancel the spotlight video for right now. And so now I'm going to talk. It's all you need to um, use your smartphone as a document camera. You don't have to go buy a $400 or a $80 document camera. If you have a smartphone, you can just do it this way. So I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. If you guys are having any problems, let me know in the comments below and we'll try to figure that out for you. Okay. Thanks for watching guys. <laughs>